Welcome to this issue uh, of Playboy magazine for February 1970. Uh, I like the cover, it's quite simple but um, stands out, I really like it. We've got some great features for this month. When I first uh, flicked through the magazine, um, it seemed not to be too engaging, but when I actually sat down to read it, there was quite a lot in there that I enjoyed. So I'll get to those bits quite soon. But we have, um, I suppose the most prominent pieces are about the drug scene from Alan Watts, uh, William Burroughs, James Coburn, Henry Anslinger and others. Uh, we've got the house yacht party. Um, we also have our jazz and pop poll. And um, we've got a pictorial with Barbara Parkins and B.B. Anderson. So we'll get straight into the first few pages. Uh, we've got some Sony here, Clubman. Um, we have some uh, Tippolette cigarettes and, of course, our Playbill. Um, so, yeah, some nice features. We've got uh, The Rebirth of Yost, and this is by Thomas Baum. We have uh, George Washington's Expense Count, uh, Marvin Kipman. Uh, the Land of a Million Elephants by Aza Baber. Um, the other one that stood out for me was The Future Shock by Alvin Toffler. Uh, and I'll explain a little more about him later on. So we've got some Schlitz beer here. And we have, uh, we've got some His Shirts. Playboy, uh, dear Playboy here as well. And then we've got some more cigarette adverts, some more letters coming in. Of course, Miller High Life beer as well. Hope you've all had a pretty good week so far. I've managed to secure about a thousand Playboy magazines in the US to import. The problem is that the import costs are really high, so I'm trying to work around that at the moment, uh, trying to get them, get them into the UK. Um, they're probably not for resale. Um, I'm going to try and get them uh, into a collection and then divide them up. Uh, and preserve them. They're in very good condition, so I'm really looking forward to receiving those. We have Playboy After Hours, some True Cigarettes, and then we have Duar's Profiles, Rick Grigg here, and this is age 32 profession marine e ecologist, hobby surfing champion, scuba diving, photography, and writing. So this is a little uh, common feature for that one. Got Craig here, and this is for your car stereo. Um, so burglar proof car stereo, uh, $119.95 and I didn't realise at the time that a lot of cars didn't come with stereos built in in this era. So you have these kind of under, under dash mounted ones and it kind of makes sense actually because I've seen a lot of films with these stereos really down low um, but I never realised they weren't a standard feature, I thought they were just um, something that came as standard and that was the way they positioned them. So it's interesting to see. Uh, we've got our book club, uh, ANC Grenadier as well. Got some more films here. Not too many of these I've heard of. I'm sure many of you will, uh, in this particular era, will know of these films. And I'm not sure how old many of you would have been uh, around this time in the 1970s. But I'm sure you remember Playboy quite well. Perhaps you even had a membership to the clubs. That would be interesting. Please leave any comments if you did have a membership. I'd be interested to hear from you. Uh, so we've got some theatre here and music, all of the, the new releases. If you're new to the Playboy Review series, this is kind of what we do. We just go through the magazines. We look at some of the features. Just a brief rundown. You can obviously pause the magazine and take a look at anything that you find interesting. Please like and subscribe where you uh, would like to see more. Um, so we've got the Playboy Advisor. So some information here um, on photography and some other letters coming through as well. Got one of the special books that came out from Playboy. This is the Playboy Short Shorts uh, from the pages of Playboy. Short, short stories for sophisticated swingers to read on the run. Written by such masters as Bruce J. Friedman, Erskine Caldwell, John D. MacDonald, Ray Bradbury, Harold Pinter, Robert Graves. Illustrated by artists like Pablo Picasso, Peter Max, Thomas... Angara, uh, and many others. And then we've got our Playboy Forum. Uh, this is an interesting piece here about the anarchists, and um, the, someone's written in just complaining about how someone in uh, Chicago had complained about anarchists, and um, these were kind of like Marxists, uh, really. And he goes on to explain about how there's genuine anarchists and then the other versions of anarchists. So you have the... Uh, 
the most prevalent form today is the anno sorry anarcho pacifism derived from leo Tolstoy, uh, leo tolstoy gandhi the catholic worker movement and the guild socialism of gk chesterton um so it's interesting nice little feature there some things i didn't know about anarchists to be honest so i'm gonna have a little deep dive into that as well we've got our um, forum news front as as well here got some lark cigarettes We also have a really nice playmate for this month. Um, very similar, I think, to last month's one. Very similar kind of looking brunette. Um, so it's been a good uh, good run for playmates. So you see some letters here. Sex in Sweden. Teenager sex questions. And then we have some uh, other topics. Uh, help for homosexuals. Ask some homosexuals sick. And these are all the big topics of the time. You know, with a very conservative era still. Even though we've descended quite far from the 50s. Um, the 70s still had, uh, you know, a large conservative kind of movement and uh, Playboy always kind of pushed back against that. So we've got the drug revolution. So this is the pleasures, penalties and hazards of chemicals with kicks are debated by nine authorities. Um, so we have uh, a selection, a panel here. We've got Henry, sorry, Harry uh, J. Anslinger. We've got William and Burroughs. We've got James Coburn. Uh, we have Babe Ram Das, uh, Leslie Fiedler, uh, Ram Das here, and then we've got Otert, we've got Alan Watts, and some others for you as well. It's a nice little discussion um, on drugs. So, still a big topic, still a big topic today, of course, still go ongoing when you think uh, 50 years later. And we're still struggling to get it legalized for various reasons there's some conflicting opinions on marijuana um so that debate still goes on i think it's in the uk where i am it's mainly the age is a problem i think under 18s tend to suffer with mental health issues and i think actually anyone under 21 it has been shown that if you smoke too much at too young an age it can affect you um with certain um, mental health disorders and then as you get older i think it tends to be a bit more um well it's not as problematic for uh older people but i know people smoke it regularly like cigarettes a lot of people tend to do that and don't seem to have any problems but i guess we'll never know there's so much testing that needs to be done playboy after dark here is the party of the year every week so again some nice uh, pictures here people having a good time and then we've got some viceroy cigarettes what sort of man reads Playboy? I like this photo here on the, um, obviously on the jet. And this is, a, I guess, a 747. Um, it'll be a split level um, plane. So it's just nice just to show how things were on the planes back in the day. And then we've got Aza Baby here, uh, the lane of a million elephants. Uh, visit Enchanted Chanda, where exotic Asian beauties uh, commingle with comic opera bureaucrats and ill advised ill-advised military advisors so that's nice piece there eric sokol and then we've got george washington's expense account this is humored by marvin kitman the father of our country was first in war first in peace and first to come up with a swindle sheet uh, bibby and barbara so this is our pictorial uh, co-starring in the new film the kremlin letter blonde bb anderson and brunette barbara parkins make this sexpionage thriller doubly attractive. So here we have some nice shots of them. The Rebirth of Yoss, this is fiction by Thomas Baum. Uh, he announced on the Merv Griffin show that he had decided to die that night and would be coming back, but as whom? Kind of a weird bit of artwork here quite surreal suitably impressive two men about town display their distinction one conservatively the other dashingly both eminently correct this is robert l green of course so some nice style pieces here artists and models we've got buck brown aspects of the art world that the public seldom sees so you'll be familiar with his uh, style of cartoons they've been in the magazine for a, a very long time and um, even today in the new magazines Playboy has artists that tend to replicate these kind of uh, images here, this style. Future Shock, this is a great piece by Alvin Toffler. Um, and this is a, 
I guess, a piece descended from his book uh, called Future Shock. And this is the accelerating rate of man-made change already may be the most stable fact of human existence, which poses this question, does man, the organism, possess the adaptability to survive the traumatic consequences? So there was a sequel to this book, uh, which I'll go to in a second. But this one is about how... Um, the industrial revolution and the, the huge technological progress how it can affect humans we're just not used to such changes so quickly um so it's a really nice piece to read it's something i'd recommend you sit down and take the time to look at and there is a another book a sequel to this um which kind of goes into the modern developments after this time and it's called the third wave so certainly worth a read of both of those if you've got it on kindle on the kindle or something like that you can probably pick up a copy quite cheap online and you may even find a pdf version of it somewhere online as well but it's a great um piece to read there's some predictions in there that are, are pretty accurate about how man will will descend with that technological advance alongside them and really we need a probably sequel to the third wave to look at how perhaps social media um changes everything again There's, this is the next step in that line of huge changes which we're not used to uh, and that would obviously, obviously of course tie into things like sexual revolution and how i don't think anyone could have predicted just how sexual society would become so um it's a, a really nice piece to read so make sure you take a look at those we've got playboys weekend house party and this is modern living so again, a nice pictorial, feel good one. Obviously lots of nudity, um, but people having a good time. And uh, of course you have the, the kind of the daytime theme and it always runs as the day progresses. And then you get to kind of the early evening, I guess, when people are eating. And then you get to kind of the late night thing. So it's a nice, um, nice feature to read through. Uh, the Boss's Son, Portrait of the Air, Apparent as a Heel. And this is fiction by Ivan Prashka. And then we have Lucky Linda. So this is Linda Forsyth, uh, 19 years old, uh, a playmate of the month. Again, I think a really nice set of photos on here. So yeah, some nice ones here. So sort of kind of um, more sort of teasing photos, I guess. But um, I think she's a really good looking model. Um, some of these photos you can see kind of just the, the natural beauty in there. Here's her centerfold for the month. So Playboy's party jokes, and then we have Dadini here. Justice Military Style, and this is by Robert Sherrill. The abridgment of constitutional guarantees by court martial is matched up by the illegal brutality meted out to those convicted. Um, so this is obviously, of course, about the brutality of um, our justice system and our, our military and police, that kind of thing. Um, so it's a, a nice feature again very relevant to today things have calmed down a bit I guess but we still have instances that crop up every so often of um, more cruelty and barbarity you know uh, when people are being attacked and they're defenseless um, well the sex quiz here which I've never been keen of these kind of little features these sex quiz things um, I don't know how popular they were even back in this time perhaps they were maybe something a little bit quirky Alberto Vargas, not one of his best ones, um, but you know his artwork's always pretty good. I just feel this one's a little bit out of proportion with the face and that kind of thing. Doesn't kind of look right, but um, I like the details around the hands though and the nails, that kind of thing. And then we have Audio Exotica. So we've got lots of audio equipment in the last few years. We've had a big uh, surge in portable devices, TVs, um, so lots of new technologies coming through. And then we have the hazards and rewards, mental, physical, and aesthetic of skiing the psychological Alps by John Sco. How other magazines would photograph a playmate. So Playboy playfully envisions what might happen if 10 other publications had their own gatefold girls. And then we've got Fortune magazine. We have uh, True Detective here. And then we've got True. Family Circle. I haven't heard of many of these magazines. These must be, you know, primarily US things. Consumer Reports, obviously Life Magazine, I know. And then we have Sports Illustrated. 
National Geographic, of course, we know in the UK. Vogue and photography as well. So nice uh, little feature, something a little bit different. John Dempsey here. And then we have our Ribald Classic. And that jazz and pop pole of the 70s. All the familiar faces that you know of before. So Dizzy Gillespie, Jerry Mulligan, Herb Ellis, Ella Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra, Duke Ellington, Oscar Peterson, Stan Getz. Cannonball Adderley, uh, Jimmy Smith, Milt Jackson, Buddy DeFranco, JJ Johnson, uh, Buddy Rich, Ray Brown. So nice artwork again as well. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Bob Dylan, some of the uh, Hall of Fame songwriters and musicians, of course, performers. And we've got Pepsi there. Some more cartoons for you. On the scene, we've got Elliot Gould, we've got Kirk Kerkorian and William Kunstler. Um, so William Kunstler, court, courtroom freedom fighter. Uh, we've got Kirk Corian, the Veep of Vegas uh, businessman there, and Elliot Gould getting straight. Um, so yeah, nice set of uh, on-the-scene uh, gents as well. Celebrate the Playboy Club's 10th great year. Apply for your key now. And then we have a little bit of filler, some cartoons, some more articles. One thing I've, I, need, I was trying to look for was ever there's ever been a Playboy Museum. Has there ever been some kind of dedicated, not a museum perhaps, but maybe some kind of exhibition to Playboy magazine, to the history of it and um, everything that Hugh Hefner and magazine went through over its history, all the complications it had. Something like that might be quite interesting, perhaps in the UK, but certainly in the US I would have thought there might be some interest in that. Um, obviously we know... A lot of uh, Hugh Hefner's archives when he passed away were, I don't know who they went to, whether they went to some kind of museum, but somewhere that exhibits all the magazines and the playmates and the, the, the writers and artists. I think that might be worthwhile. I'm surprised no one's done it, but um, something I'd, I'd like to do myself, to be honest, but it takes a lot of resources, unfortunately. And then we have the uh, Apeco Rollomatic Copy Maker, the Playboy Art Gallery. And we have some more cartoons here, uh, folks. Got some nice letters here on ready to swap about swinging, monogamy and, monogamy and taboo, a feminine revolution, love and promiscuity. And then we've got the subscription. Uh, Professor's Latter, you're just in time to be the planet Neptune. And just a few more pages into Landy here. And John Dempsey, even if you weren't such a great stud, Mr. Glutz, I'd still regard you as a wonderful human being. Some more cartoons. Feel free to give it a pause if there's anything you need to read or carry on with if you started an article. Many of the articles you can find online from Playboy. Uh, they have been published elsewhere or copied and they are online. So that's us finished for this issue. Just a quick look at next month's issue. Revolution by James Jules at Siegel. Counter Revolution by George Fox. Uh, Playboy plays the stock market by Michael Lawrence. Barbie Doll and this is Barbie Benton uh, pictorial, a nine page one. Um, Rudolph in Moneyland by Erwin Shaw, The Bunny of the Year, uh, exclusive uncoverage of the contest to select our 1970 Cottontail Queen. We have Ray Childs uh, in the Playboy interview, which should be very good. The Girls of Julius Caesar, uh, Swinging on the Stars, Robert Jennings, The Same to You Doubled, Robert Sheckley, Coping with Future Shock by Alvin Toffler. So preventative planning can help us prepare for the disorientating traumas of social and technological change as we 
discussed earlier that's a really good feature to read the future shock uh, look into alvin toffler as well if you don't know much about him i, I didn't know too much and uh, there's a couple of books i'm going to order which is the future shock and i'm going to order the third wave because i'd like to reread uh, the, the future shock again um the basic urban wardrobe robert l green and we've got nevada swinging super resorts there as well so back page just some salem cigarettes that's us all finished for this month uh, i'll get another video to you by the end of the week uh say enjoy the rest of your week and i'll speak to you very soon